What is up? Kid Nikki sign in. L7 Society Square Bears. What is going on? Just got done. Literally like two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes ago. Just got wa done watching One Piece 15th anniversary special. 3D cross out to Y. Only I don't do anime reviews because I'm so far ahead in most series like in the mangas that I read that have animes to them that I don't do the the reviews anime wise unless it's like an anime like Kill the Kill that doesn't have a manga then I'll do something like that but Kill the Kill has already, already been gone and done and over with. I should did a review series for that but I didn't so I missed out on that one, but this 3DX2i is good shit. Oda in this camp, man, good job. Uh, it takes place um, in between the two-year time skip. Actually, probably like it's a year and a half. All right, so this is before the really left Luffy. On the island, with the island that he was training on before, and he went back to Shogun Capello to do his gambling and whatnot, and prepare the rest of the Straw Hats for their journey down to the Fisherman Island arc. Um, yo, world, yo, world. I really wish they had him. In New World, he is too good of a villain and a character. His whole crew, the old lady, the uh, Sebastian. <laughs> his name Sebastian. He's a fisherman. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Well, yeah, the fisherman hybrid giant dude, um, the cube guy. He's dope. Um, that dude's that dude's dope. The cube dude is dope, and his his older brother. Um, they should have been. They should, yeah. I hope. I hope that they survived that. Well, spoiler alert. I hope they survived after the aftermath of what happened at the end of this special. Cause he's too good of a character, man. He's too good of a character to pass up. Cause we're in New World now, and fish. A lot of people didn't like fish right now. I did. Of course, Horty Jones was... He was terrible. Well, he wasn't terrible. He was okay. He was just a fake Arlong. That's all he was. He was just a fake Arlong. But, yeah. A lot of people didn't like Fisherman Island art. I did. It showcased a lot of things. It kind of like showed on a scale of where the Straw Hats are and whatnot. Yeah, the two-year time skip. And then the whole Punk Hazard thing. Not too much. I don't really want to call that an island destination type deal. I, I look at it more as a setup for this Rosa because of, um, because of freaking the uh, senior clown, uh, senior clown, Caesar clown being part of the Dofi family and the Smile Factory and all that stuff. I I don't see that as I only see that as a stepping stone for this Rosa art, but. Bernie World, the World Pirates, they need to come make a comeback in New, in New World. Please, ho hopefully, o Oda, humor plea. Even though Luffy did whoop his ass at the end, but what can you do? He's supposed to do that. He's the main character, so that's supposed to happen. But, really, if Rayleigh just stepped in and at the very, very beginning, maybe the shit would have changed. I mean, I don't know. Um, there's some plot holes on that one, but we get to see the development of Luffy. Luffy got his ass whooped throughout this whole entire movie. Like really, that's the one thing I like about Luffy. That he like his plot armor is bare minimum. He always gonna win because that's the only thing he has against them. He always gonna win. That's the only thing that that you can say. But other than that, Luffy gets his ass whooped. Luckily, he learns from it. 
after every fight, each fight he gets stronger and stronger. So he's like, you know, he got that saying shit in him. I mean, it's from from Garp. Maybe he's just in his genes, man. Because Garp, after uh, World heard about heard Garp's name, he was shooken. I want to know how powerful Garp really is. At least how powerful he was in his prime. He made Son Goku. Because, I mean, World was a big big pirate, apparently, if he was in Impel Down on the very, 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 very bottom level. And uh, I haven't watched World Z, but I know about the main villain. Like, there's, there's like a lot of pirates from fucking the Roger Age. The Golden Age of Pirates were Roger and fucking Whitebeard were running around. There's powerful pirates. Hell, look at uh, Dong T. Chow. He's in this. He's in the fucking Death Row Saga. He's going. He went toe to toe with Garp apparently, and he's fucking molly whopping everybody in Death Row Saga. Um, like this really, this little special really put in the grand scale how vast the world of One Piece is. <laughs> OP, yeah, One Piece, OP, overpowered because. I said, I said this before in a video before when the uh, good thing about this series is that Luffy and his crew, they're the main, they're the main characters, but they are so small on the scale compared to everybody else on the planet of One Piece. Luffy can't even touch the Admiral, still can't touch him. I mean, we'll find out after uh, the Death Rosa arc, but in this movie, I mean, not movie, but in the special, man, yeah, the grand scale. And Mihawk, though. Yo, Mihawk is hands down probably the top five strongest people in the One Piece world. To me. To me. He has to be. He has to be. Hell, I think he could take out the fucking Admirals. To be honest with you, I don't know why he's a fucking warlord. What's the point of him being a warlord? Anybody can fuck with him. There ain't nobody can fuck with him. I mean, he saw Shanks and he blew Shanks off when Shanks lost his arm. So I'm, he might be shit. He's stronger than fucking Shanks, probably. Ah. I mean, I'm rambling on. But this is a good special. I mean, if you watched, I don't know, a lot of people watched it. I mean, it's not too much. Or catching up, really. I mean, really, it was just showing the beginning stages of Luffy learning uh, the basics of hockey, observation hockey, arm is hockey, and intimidation hockey. I mean, that's shit that we already know. It was just seeing deep into what he's been doing in the two-year time skip. I mean, they didn't show the beginning first year and a half. They just showed this last part. And at the end of it, it was, like I said, before Rayleigh left him, in the six months that he's used at six months, the la fuck, the rest of the six months to train and then head back to his crew. And yeah, the beginning was dope. The recap of um, what happened to Ace, yo, tears, man, nostalgic. It was all nostalgic, man. The first like 15 minutes into the special, man, nostalgic. Tears. I ain't crying, but you know. Eyes wired a little bit. I can say that. And then the last part when he, he found out with the crew and they're about to go down to uh, Fisherman Island, you know, the coded Thousand Sunny and whatnot. Everybody meeting up with each other. Um, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Um, I wonder if they're going to do specials. I mean, it's all about Luffy, of course, he's the main character. I wonder if they do specials about um, the rest of Straw Hat crew. Um, since. Freaking Mihawk was in this special. What the fuck was Zoro doing? What happened to Zoro's eye? Did he get a new eyeball? Did he just lose his eye? How strong is Zoro? Please let me know. God damn it. Ah. I want to know how strong Zoro is. How Sanji kept running his ass around. Did he actually get caught by those fucking. <laughs> by those damn drag queens over there? Um. How did Usopp lose all that fucking weight? Uh, how much did Chopper learn? Um, 
freaking how did Frankie get his ass blown up and yeah really I want to know the one the real stories I really want to know about is Zoro's story between the two year time skip because he had to, he's one of people that has so much change uh, Frankie in between the time skip because you know he had a brand new body um, Robin because those titties I'm not a I'm an ass man but when I see some tits I see some tits. Uh, <laughs> that is a tits, but you know, the world government. How with uh, Hack, Cola, Sabo, and uh, fucking Dragon. What she learned with, with the world government. Um, hey, that's, only, that's it. I mean, Nami. Again, tits. How did that happen? Who knows? But. That's pretty much it. Uh, pretty much a ramble. I mean, watch it. It's on Country Roll. It's for free. So I'll just watch it. Uh, kids to be signing out. That's how society square base. I'll be good. One Piece special 15th anniversary. 3D cross out 2I. It's pretty dope. Uh, Villains is dope. Luffy's dope. Bo Hancock. Hot. Well, Hancock would have been ass in this movie, too. And Buggy was the shit. See, I like Buggy. Buggy act like this all he wanted to. But when Usa acts like that, nope. 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 Reason why I get Buggy pass because he was the first one in the manga to act like that. Were you the first person to do stuff that, that, that you do? I'm cool with you. But if there's some other motherfuckers like that, hell no. Mm -mm. Usa might as well be a carbon copy of Buggy. Might as well be. One has a long nose, the other one has a clown nose. It's all in noses, baby. That's it. That'll be good. I was just rambling on, but it's a good. Go check it out. Country Roll or something for free. I'm out. Peace. Oh, yeah. Before I end up in the video, fucking Sabo at the end with the song playing in the sake cups. Cheers to his brothers. That was dope. That was dope. That was dope. I had to come back and say that. So, Sabo! Peace.